We did it for you. Here's what you need to know with Amy and Sean on 1027 VGS. If you're sick of driving on, say, the 15, and it's bumper-to-bumper traffic, but then you look all the way to the left in the HOV lane, smooth sailing, well, you might be in luck. Why shouldn't everyone have to suffer just like you? That's what Lieutenant Governor Steve Bruce <laughs> Anthony is meeting with NDOT today, trying to remove the HOV lanes in the state. If NDOT, the majority of them, vote in favor, you could see them gone almost immediately. Uh, if they don't vote in favor, he's going to try to seek to limit the hours of the HOV lanes. Which really, you only need it in the morning when traffic's really, really bad. Everybody's trying to get to work. And then when everybody's trying to leave work. Yeah. Look, limit the hours. Yeah, so if California does it. So, like, if you have an electric car, you can use the HUV lane for, yeah. like, a year or two, whatever it is. But that, like, even that, like, now, I don't think they should get that because there's so many of them being sold. There's so many at this point. Yeah. Just, let's all suffer together. We're it, all in this together. From High School Musical? No, sorry. <laughs> Watch that. Way <laughs> after my time. Uh, <laughs> Come on. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, you know. If you get two or three people in the car, you should get a little bit of a, ben- a benefit. Just a little bit. But like only for like the three hours around rush hour. That's it. Only in the morning, only in the in the afternoon, evening. Yeah. I'm for it. Noon? No. Sorry. No, you don't need it at noon. No, listen. Uh, another thing being taken up there at uh, Carson City, uh, the Neighborhood Stabilization Act. If, if passed, this would allow uh, the state to tie rent increases to the cost of living index. So let's say the cost of living goes up 10%. You can't say that the you know rent goes up 30%. It would, it would limit how much a homeowner or you know a, a investor mm-hmm. could charge for rent. This is necessary. <laughs> this is very necessary. I mean, you lived in an apartment at one point Cheap, cheap. time here. In, in comparison, it was 820 a month for an 820 square foot apartment. Well, honestly, just even a couple of years ago when I was paying rent, my rent at my apartment, I left the apartment complex because they were doubling the rent. Mm-hmm. They were doubling the amount that my roommate and I were paying. Okay, what did you start paying? How many bedrooms? It's two bedroom, two bath, and we paid 1200 They were going to charge $2,400? Mm-hmm. That's gross. Yeah, that's gross. Yeah, that's I know. It's disgusting. We yeah. said, uh-uh, bye. Yeah, no, no, no kidding. Uh, this would stop uh, landlords from being able to raise the rent within the first year of a rental as well. Uh, but there's just so many investors in town. A lot of people that, you know, you know, private equity firms, there's a whole like community next to where I live. All of them are brand new homes that are only for rent. <laughs> it's awful. So like <laughs> just a ton of investment came in and now it's like, you know, they're just kind of controlling the market. So this is hopefully to stabilize that. I don't know, whatever the case. Fingers you know, crossed. There's free market, but if you let it go too free, I mean, they're aye, charging $19,000 a month. Uh, pilots for Allegiant Airlines are planning on picketing tomorrow at LAS. They say the airline based here in Vegas, they uh, treat them badly and are refusing to no- negotiate on better wages and policies. The airline is saying, no, we're, me- we're in mediation right now. We're going to work on something. Uh, the picket's going to be informational. It shouldn't affect flights. They'll be just as miserable as you'd expect. <laughs> oh, uh, it's actually happened. The Strat is charging for parking. No. Strat. Absolutely not. No, no, no. And uh, you're they were really, one of the last ones. But you know what, though? Hey, at least there's the locals discount. There is no locals discount. There's no Disgusting. first three hours free. <laughs> I called them yesterday. They told me how it works. If you get that true rewards card, you have to be the third tier plus to get free parking. That's ridiculous. At least Resorts World, they made everybody get their, their card. If you're just a schmuck that only goes to play video poker once a year, you can still get free parking at the resort. Yes, if you just get the card, you get free parking. That is so that is so smart to me. Yeah. I mean, sure, they have your information for, like, marketing stuff, but, like... They had it anyways. Sure. They had it anyway, <laughs> they'll yeah. Find, they'll find it one way or another. <laughs> if you want to know who does not charge for parking still, go to our website, 1027vgs.com. But when the win is not charging for parking, I mean... Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, in sports, VGK, they lost to their old coach, Pete DeBoer. Yuck. Hate him. Uh, and the <laughs> Dallas Stars in OT Saturday, 2-1 final. They have two more games in the regular season, both of them against the Seattle Kraken, uh, first of which is tomorrow at the Fortress. XFL's Vegas Vipers, they were having a heck of a game against St. Louis Battlehawks in St. Louis. 35,000 people in the stands. And man, it almost happened. But they, did. they went to overtime. They lost 21-17. They're going to play in Houston on Saturday. Uh, weather going to be scraping around 90 degrees tomorrow around 93. That should be an all-time high for the date. And that's going to cool down midweek, 70s, 80s. Uh, Not too bad, though.